Everyone wants to feel accepted, to be valued and viewed as equal. We're all unique with different needs and wants and wishes, but we also need communication. We need to build connections. And the truth is, we simply don't want to be viewed or treated as different. My name is Jamila. I was born deaf, and I'm the only deaf person in my family. My family didn't know a huge amount of ASL, just enough to get along, just the basics. That childhood experience and my whole life experience was a lonely one. Right after I graduated high school, I went to DC to study at Gallaudet University and I met a friend of mine, Alicia, there. She was the first person who really introduced me to the church. I started to learn about the restoration of the gospel. I read the Book of Mormon and the part about praying with real intent that really stuck with me. And I realized that I had to pray with some intention of change, of action, with sincerity. That's when I really began to feel inspired. I felt like one of the people talked about in Second Nephi. He manifesteth himself unto all those who believe in him by the power of the Holy Ghost. Yea, unto every nation, kindred, tongue, and people, working mighty miracles, signs, and wonders among the children of men, according to their faith. God views us all as his children, and that's why he sent us here, to help us learn more about him and to become more like him. Every scripture I read reinforces that truth. Why would God view me differently? I think God views me as one of his children, as I am. But still, inside it is tough. It makes me sad. It breaks my heart to know that I'm viewed or treated differently. I want people to view me as a human being, rather than only seeing my deafness. I want them to see me for who I truly am, a child of God. How I hear him is turning my attention to him. It's through my actions. I'm able to demonstrate to everybody that I'm trying to be more like Christ. And what that means is loving him and showing love towards others. When I'm serving others and learning from Jesus Christ's attributes, I'm able to identify those more in myself and recognize them more in other people. I'm able to serve and minister to their needs. And that's what it means for me to hear him. It's the opposite of being self-centered. It's being centered on Christ. It's hearing him, focusing on him. For me, it's a visual hearing him. I depend on my eyes, and that's how I hear him, as I turn my eyes towards him. <laughs>